on the large table in the center of the newsroom is where we have the sign-in sheets for volunteers, which looks like this. So when you come in to get a recording kit for a story that you're covering, please make sure you sign in with the time you came in and the time that you leave. Above that, there's also an equipment checkout sheet. When you come in to get a kit, make sure you sign it out, the date, the date returned, all that good stuff. Um, we do ask that when you check out a piece of equipment, you return it by the next day um, in each kit. You should have a Marantz recorder, which is this, a at least one gigabyte memory card, and a spare memory card. You will also need to make sure you have four rechargeable batteries and the rechargeable batteries are color-coded and labeled with either numbers or letters. They need to be kept together in sets because it helps them last longer. You also want to have a microphone, headphones, when you record, you should always have your headphones on to keep track of whether or not your audio sounds good. You need an XLR cable, a short one, which is what you will use for face-to-face -face interviews. You have a male and a female adapter. This is the male, which actually plugs into the recorder. The female side plugs into the microphone down here. You also want to have a long XLR cable, which is the same thing, only longer. An AC adapter for plug-in power. A 1 8 inch to quarter inch adapter. And I will explain how this is used in just a minute. An XLR flipper which is this. It has a male uh, end on each side and what that does is allow you to plug it into the end of a female adapter and turn that female adapter into a male. Some items that you might also need are an RCA to 1 8 inch adapter cable, which is this. That's the 1 8 inch, and then this is the RCA side. A 1 8 inch to 1 8 inch cable, which looks like this. And then back to the 1 8 inch to a quarter inch adapter. That is a situation where this might come in handy. The 1 8 inch adapters plug into the Marantz recorder in line in, which is right here. And oftentimes when you are recording at an event, places will, will not have the capability to use a 1 8 adapter and they will need a quarter inch adapter, in which case you would plug the small end into that and it would turn into the quarter inch. Also a dampener, also called an attenuator. This is something that when you're plugging in to an audio system, uh, City Hall is a good example of this, uh, County Commission, this also comes in handy. You plug this into the wall and then plug your XLR cable into it. And what it does is it cuts down on distortion if there is some. Uh, also, a shotgun mic, which I do not have to show you right now. Uh, it is a long microphone, and you would want to have that for situations where you're recording audio from more than a foot away. And last couple things. Um, a microphone flag, which is that, and it goes onto your microphone so that people know who you're recording for. Got to represent the station. 
uh, and a mic stand, which could look like that. Um, there's other variations of it that look more like a tripod that sits on a table, um, but basically that's what it is. Um, and we also have a one eighth adapter to a female adapter, uh, which is very similar to something like that. And that is about it. Again, these are all the things that you should have in your kit. Uh, you should check before checking out your kit to make sure that it is complete and it has everything. Um, and if you need to reference it, there is a list right there to help you. And again, don't forget to sign in on the sign-in sheet and check it out on the checkout sheet. Thanks and good luck.